I'd like to call to order the Douglas Zoning Board of Appeals meeting for Wednesday, July 10th at 7.02 p.m. The first uh, agenda item is a discussion with uh, North Brown LLC. Hi, Ed. Hi, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Again, um, I provided the board with an updated uh, construction and sales schedule. Yes. And also uh, gave them a, a provided you with a list of uh, uh, the sales that we've had with the books and pages, uh, recording information on it. I think the board requested that last meeting and the meeting before, I'm not sure. And uh, other than that, uh, the, ins the installation of the cistern is completed, and we're waiting for the fire department to do the, to do the flow test. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that will be done. The fire chief was away for the fourth, but hopefully that will get done soon. Well, I notice in this uh, chart we have a listing of the books and pages. I was wondering if they could provide a copy of that for our record for the sales. Look, I was discussed a couple meetings. Ago. Yeah, you have this one right here. Yeah. Yeah, the okay. copy of the books and pages. Yeah, yeah. So the actual D. You want a copy of the D for the, the record? Yes. All right. Well, I can do that. I can kill a couple of trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that from this point forward. Uh, yeah. Okay, Bill. Okay, well. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Mike? Are these all phase one? Yes. But so none of these are phase two yet. No, we haven't sold any phase two. No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah, but. All right. Because this one isn't sold. So. We have two or four. I get confused as to which phase we're in we have as two we move forward. Yeah, so we have two or four of those that, that uh, are still yep. uh, have to be sold pending. and they're is pending. Still yeah. pending. Yeah. Are they, is, is a PNS on them or? Uh, oh yeah. 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 That's what I thought. Um, yeah, because he like over here says phase one and two. Right, because that is for the, um, uh, that's the construction and sale information. Yep. So we've, that, that's for phase one, but then the next page goes into phase two. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, as it goes down the list, it goes into phase two. Yeah, the, from here, yeah, the, this sheet is phase two, and, and it goes all the way to the third, because that's just how it are they all sold now? All sold in phase yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. Good. That's good. Except for the month. Hope not. So. I'm good. So what are the numbers, uh, what, what starts, what number, unit number starts? Phase two? Phase two, yeah. The second sheet. Yeah. Okay. So the first sheet. The first sheet is just phase okay. one. Huh? Right. So okay. seventeen. Seventeen is actually in two. Yes. Correct. What? Am I right at the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So if we got the cistern uh, issue and the paving issue, I think it was all straightened out. I think so. Yeah. Engineering wise and everything. Yeah, in the roundabout. Phase yeah, two. Yeah, roundabout, yeah. That's what I was talking about. All right, so that's all taken care of. So I just like like to just uh, ask Bill if he's got any yeah, information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, anything you'd like to discuss? Um, as that indicated, we're waiting for the final testing of the cistern before it's accepted. Um, we do have. Uh, a turnaround that's constructed, it's of gravel, um, which I think is a good thing. We're also rerouting construction traffic to separate it from the residential traffic for phase one. 
that's also a good thing. Um, and as we continue on, I think it would be prudent to maintain a traffic control plan that demonstrates um, the separation between the construction and the residential traffic as we move forward. It's prudent to do that. Um, the, I want to also make sure that not only for emergency purposes, but the residents have a safe and, and convenient means to turn around. Um, when we did the phasing, the intent of the original phasing was to have those phases terminate at road intersections so that turnarounds would be relatively easy. Um, but now we're breaking the phasing into sub-phases. Um, so, so the question's coming up on the turnaround of yeah. at those locations. So, you know, that's something I think we'll be working on over the coming, you know, period of time to make sure that we're all satisfied and have the same intent as to what, what's required out there. So, it's all about safety. Yep. Uh, I, I'm thinking that that, uh, uh, the second entrance into the place that you put in mm -hmm. will actually will that work for the rest of the phases or, in, or not? yeah I, yeah I, I yeah. think once we, because we, we can just move it up to the um, to the end of the of phase mm -hmm. two once we mm -hmm. pave the rest of phase okay. two uh, so it's, it's and then eventually, so you can and eventually it's going to yeah eventually it'll be okay. part of the you know the, the road comes back that way. That's where the road comes back right. into them. So, yeah. It'll so it makes sense just just to get everybody on the same page before it happens, so we don't, you know, we don't. You know, yeah. We well, don't once once phase again, I, we can route the traffic uh, depending upon how construction mm -hmm. goes in phase two. We can route the traffic beyond what's been sold in phase two, mm -hmm. uh, and then once we're into phase three, we're basically connecting the road back yeah. in. So it's basically making the loop. Yeah. So what's your schedule with phase two? Do you know how fast you're going to complete that? Or as what? fast as we can sell them well, and yeah, build that's them. <laughs> that's the best I can do for you. Really? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's Is that the normal way of addressing that. buildings? Yeah. I mean, the lenders are only going to lo loan you so many specs, you know, until you have sales. Okay. So, uh, you know, there's a limit to what we, what, what we can build without okay. Uh, PNSs and and then it's a matter of selling. So it really is dependent upon sales. Okay. That, that's, that's I kind of thought that it would just go through and then you'd finish it and you know people would buy and whatever. But that's with tons of money. Yeah, that's with tons of money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know too many developers. Maybe maybe Dan. No. <laughs> I <understand. laughs> I okay. Well, that's interesting. Thank you very much for that. That, that, that helps. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Did a hell of a job, man. Thank you. Always good to see you. Good to see you. There you go. See you later. How many houses are up there? 25,000? Yeah. Every meeting. It's crazy, crazy. We're not doing something right. Next agenda item is a public hearing for Anthony and Sarah Bucarelli, 85 and 82 Peters Cove Road. The date of the application was June 10th, 2019. You're a little premature, though. You got three minutes to go on that, no? Oh. Yeah, five minutes. Plan. Good catch, Mike. Oh, no problem. I'm happy you, but. Three minutes. All right, we do have some. Five. Things. We do have some things need to be signed. Yeah. Hey, Margaret. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good. How are you? The, we have a bill to pay, and we also have um, a decision for P. Lou. Uh, uh -huh. Everybody was able to get that on online and review it. I did review it. Yeah. So we'll pass those around. Okay. If Thank you, Mike. That was a good catch. So used to think this yeah. going over behind the river. That's why he does twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> He's always been a fishing. When he learns what fishing is, I want you to know. He gave him a lesson a long time ago. You didn't listen? Nope. I told him, you don't, <coughs> you, you don't lose money on a lot until you put a house on it. Yep. And that's when you lose money. 
That's okay. Yeah, and you guys are listening because he's still building the house. Of course. Huh? Just for anybody that's not familiar, it was advertised at 7 15 and we can't start before the time that it was advertised. We have about three minutes and we'll be underway. Yeah, I'm sorry? Yeah, water side blue. You want to get that? Huh? No, I'm not getting anything. You skipped out, brother. I'm not getting anything. That was last Wednesday. Hey, Pat, that's right. Oh, yeah. That was Luke. That was Luke. Yeah. 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 I don't know well, there's enough confusion there. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no clue about this. Hey, he's not going to get you some of the money. This was big to him this week. I felt like I'm here. I'm sorry, I pulled the lever. No, it's going to be. Thanks. 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 I can hold it up over here. I can hold it up over here. I came in the mail when I turned party. It's vanity. It's awesome. I put the stupid plastic in. How do you have the last taken? You sitting next to Kevin. You got to be careful sitting. Tell Les, you got to be careful sitting next to you. Get a bad reputation. No, it's just that you know you got to be careful. Oh, okay, the next agenda item is um, public hearing for Anthony and Sarah Bugarelli, case number two zero one nine dash zero six eighty five and eighty two Peters Cove Road. The Marie, do we have the certified mailings? Yes. 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 Great. All right, and uh, this hearing was advertised in the Worcester Telegram Gazette and posted in the Town Hall and read as follows. The Town of Douglas Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing at 7.15 for Anthony and Sarah Bucarelli. They have filed for a special permit pursuant to the MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9, the Douglas Zoning Bylaws, Section 9.3 and Appendix B, dimensional requirements to replace both cottages with one year-round home, 40 feet by 25 foot house on lot number 82 in a two-car garage and upgraded septic system on lot number 85. Located in an RA agricultural zone district, the property located is 85 and 82 Peters Cove Road, assessors map 158 parcels 3 and parcels 8. A copy of the application may be viewed at the community development office during regular business hours. Anyone interested or wishing to be heard on the proposed application should appear at the time and place designated. I'm going to recuse myself from this hearing and Mrs. Holmes is going to chair this case. Sounds good to me. Okay, so who is... Uh going to be speaking on behalf of the Bucarellis? Right here. Right behind you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, this is great. Okay. This is great. You have to do I'll it all in reverse. You can go sit in there. You got to get back in. Perfect. You, you this, this, this work this right will work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You all set? We've got a Southern twang. Uh, Western Mass. Western Mass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the record, my name is Margaret Bacon. I'm an engineer with Civil Site Engineering, and I'm here representing... Uh, Anthony and Sarah Bucciarelli, and Anthony's here uh, with me tonight, um, requesting a special permit to replace an, ex an, exist an existing cottage uh, that he has here on uh, Peters Cove Road, and across the street from Peters Cove Road, there's a, an old cottage. Something. Correct. So what Anthony would like to do, um, I highlighted in yellow the proposed uh, building. Uh, 20, 25 by 40, what it'll do is it'll remove, there's a carport here in the existing cottage, 
that's in various stages of disrepair. Uh, and then so why did you highlight the uh, uh, carport? I knew, well, actually, the carport's in. The, the yellow is the proposed building. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so basically, the, the the new building, new house, will go right where that carport was. Yes. So all, obviously, all this would be removed, and mm -hmm. the, the yellow is the new uh -huh. structure. And then across the street would be uh, remove the green cottage and put in a uh, two-car garage. And then also, right now, there's one septic system that. I guess originally accommodated both of these buildings and so we were out there in the fall we did a perp test uh, over on this lot so mm -hmm. a new system would go over on this lot to accommodate the, the new house so we are requesting a special permit in order to be able to uh, obviously uh, make these changes it's a existing non-conforming lot so it's our understanding the special permit is a preferred way to go well, you're right on the res. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Th that's right. Here's the reservoir. And, so he's been uh, the conservation, I think. Uh, not until after we get through this. Not want to make sure that you know this would be approved, special permit process, and uh, if so, then we'll take it to the next step and do the septic mm -hmm. design and go before the conservation commission. We usually ask the proponent to to go to conservation first, but. We're listening right now. We're in yeah, we're listening mode. right now. Yeah, I, I, you know, a couple of things I like to point out that I like about it is the septic system is going to be across the street into that other mm -hmm. lot, mm -hmm. uh, which is not going to be that close, of course, to the reservoir. Uh, if anyone been down here, uh, he has a lot of outbuildings. He's got a couple of boats. He's got has. Um, it's a nice piece of property. It's pretty flat. Whatever. Looks like it's you pretty know. unused. Oh no, there's no doubt. I mean. Just yeah, it's going to be a, an asset to uh, like mm -hmm. the area, but I mean the town. So, so it's uh, going to be a full uh, year-round distance. Uh, no, it would be uh, just for the summertime. Oh. Fridays have to work with the kids and come home Sunday. Can yeah. I use it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Friday, Friday yeah. Thursday. No, I mean, <laughs> Thursday. I'm sorry, it's be I forgot one day. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's. Um, it's been around probably since the 40s, what's been there. I think that's in my wife's family for about 70 plus years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So what do you see as a, I don't see nothing as a problem, I mean. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. You're taking, taking down one, you're taking, taking it down. You're taking down one building and yeah. putting up another, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's wrong with that? It's, well, it's awesome. we're just looking at it, Louis. It is bigger than the other yeah. one, but the, but there are two buildings that are coming down. Yeah, if you look at the two of them, I think they're quite substantially yeah. larger than the other one. The, other yeah. one. the size of the fact that the garage may be a little bit <coughs> at all on the other side of the road. Um, Where is the existing a, septic, anyways? Do we know? It, it's still, uh, there's a, uh, there a septic tank here, and it still goes across the road. Oh. It's not a 55 gallon drum? I'm sorry. Uh, we don't, we don't think it is. Uh, <laughs> we, we think it goes over yeah. there. Yeah. <coughs> So let me get this straight now. All you want to do is take down this and put up a new one. That's correct. And the septic's going to be across the street. That's yes. correct. Yeah. Yep. I don't see nothing wrong with that. How about you, John? I don't know. Um, Question, Tim. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Is there any reason why you have it, the house face like that because of the design of the house that you're going to put up? Oh, that correct, yes. Yeah. yeah. And to get the view of, as much view as the water. Yep. That's like off. the front entry with the like, idea of thinking of like a kitchen and a common area. Yeah. Notice that you deserve good views, also. Yeah, exactly. When you're looking out with the okay. clean the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, did you say when you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, he's talking to Pam when she's there. Trying to set it up. <laughs> yeah. um, the 50 foot buffer is what about 15 feet off of the uh, proposed house? I've got the 50 foot buffer right here. Yep. 50 foot right oh, here. Oh, that's so right there. Okay. So we knew we had to be outside of that. Yeah. Probably should have highlighted that. My fault. Well, these were bigger. Oh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> Come I, I, on, Mike. Well, because you have, yeah, yeah. You, have <laughs> you have it in two locations. That's yes. why I asked because yeah. I looked over here to the right of it, yeah. and it's and it's further down more. 
Well, you found it. There you go. Well, yep. You know, for the, for the, about my drafter, we ha we have a right angle here, and you should have rounded that off. So it really. <laughs> so which one? So which so one's it's correct? Really, it's really the one that's right up here. Right okay. on the right on the. Th that's why. I, yeah, I pushed the house. Okay. Move the yeah. house. So. You did. So we're blaming the draft on that one. Yes, we are. So we don't have the He's not here. He's under the box. We don't have any proposed plans or anything to it. For what? The house. Uh, no, actually, uh, Anthony, actually, he's he just a couple of pictures of where he's going to We haven't gotten that point of uh, an architect, but uh, yeah, I get some ideas that uh, I've been looking online, floor plans and stuff like that. Okay. Any more questions from? Uh, I think it looks very good. 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 I think they'll do a great job. And you're going to clean up the area, right? Okay. How can we ask for anything better than that? What do you say, John? Okay, I'm going to ask if there's anyone else here to speak oh, okay. who would like to speak on this. Um, the that's Wait a minute, could you introduce yourself? Oh, sure. Where you Ann Warren Fowler, 102 Peters Cove Road. Um, the building that's going to be in back of the house, what is that going to be? Uh, it would be a two-car garage with the plans. With the and is there going to be a room above that? A loft, yes. A loft, and will that building have plumbing as well? Is that going to be um, I don't believe we're going to put plumbing in there. No. Is that part of the plan that there will be no plumbing in there? And your and the reasons why you're asking those questions. Oh, I'm just curious about okay. septic. So septic the, size. The septic size will. The, the garage is 24 by 24. Okay. So, quick question, Pam. How many bedrooms do they have? Uh, three. And you're going to put in a three bedroom system? Yes. So he's going to have trouble expanding over to the garage because of the Board of Health rules? They will. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be limited. Yeah. That's the only reason I asked. So it's clear. Oh, clear. Okay. That was done, my question. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you. No problem. Anybody else have any, any comments or questions about this uh, proposal? Get another one? Steve Backus, 90 Peters Cove Road. Will the garage be located in the same place that the camp is? That you're tearing down? Uh, right, right now the existing camp uh, doesn't meet zoning, so we're pushing the, it encroaches the zoning lines, the offset lines, so we're just pushing the garage over a little. How much? About 12 uh, feet it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, from the existing. It's going to do about well, if you go from the uh, left side yeah. of the house, the structure to the, the garage, it looks like a half the depth of the garage. Yeah, well, 20 the garage across the street, though. Oh, I see. Yeah, that. yeah, so yeah. It, it's getting moved over about <coughs> 20 feet. So that's more than a little bit. Well, and, well, actually, it still can be, you know, moved back this yeah. way. Yeah, I yeah, just but if you look at it from the side, it's not 20 feet. So if you come 20 feet, it looks like that. This is coming 20 feet. This is coming 20 feet. Correct. It's 24 by 24. What, but what if Mike you're is saying this side, the left side is only moving over about half the depth of the garage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, yep. Yep. Yeah. Got it. It's just, it's just a little deceiving when you say 20 feet and thinking the whole structure is moving 20. No, it looks like more like maybe 12, right? 12, 12 feet, and it's going to get short and neat. Yeah. And so that leaves what, what for? Uh, uh, so it'll be moved 20 feet. Is that what? You, we're going to make it less non-conforming to the lot, if you know what I mean. So the, we, we have setbacks. Can he walk up and look at that picture? Sure. Do you mind, or do you mind if I give him? Uh, that one's a little larger. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to you want to walk up that? and look at that, Steve? That way you can see what yeah. we're talking about. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I was just wondering to give them a copy of mine. Okay. Yeah. So here's the here's the zoning offset. So I just say. No, like I said, it's just kind of. Uh, we just wanted to so go far enough away, just over a little. Gonna move to the left about 12 feet. You can yeah. See, there's an existing yeah, that's all. here. So just to get this point out of here. Mm -hmm. Have to be in up his property. So, I mean, so somewhere in here is going to be the septic. Mm -hmm. The septic designs are the driveway, and the septic design is so going to be a hump. So the septic will even be a little more. Yeah, the septic will be a raised system. So the driveway will probably come in and hug this side. Yeah. Come in. Okay, if we could have you sit down so that we can all see what she what she's pointing to, that would yeah. be helpful. Uh, yeah. So what we did perks over here. So the septic, obviously, because it's high groundwater, it's going to be a raised system. 
So, so w w there will be a, a, a hump here. So I'm, I'm, the driveway will probably come in and hug the sideline and then go into the garage. So what's the existing, uh, what, what's, what are we going to be left with beside uh, the side and the back uh, areas uh, of the garage? How she's looking for the, the, what's the ac acreage you got up there? So well, she's asking. The, oh well, this this side is uh, almost two acres. Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And this side is uh, smaller. Yeah, five thousand. What is that? Is that the quarter of an acre? Quarter of an acre. Mm -hmm. A lot of buildings yeah. on that quarter of an acre. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of half of them. Any more questions from the committee? Oh, wait a minute. Greg I'm a director of butter on both sides of the property oh. you mentioned. Um, this is going to be fourth generation. I have no problem with it at all. No objections whatsoever, 100% for it. And another? Hi, I'm at Lisa Kalinowski, 86 P.S. Cold Road, and we have no objection. We're a director of butter as well. Okay. Same thing. Nice. Uh, families have owned it for generations, so we kind of feel that it, that's a big one. We're willing to support it's a big adding on. Yeah. It's a huge improvement, so we're totally in favor of it. Huge. Uh, and it's a great movie, so. Yeah. Yeah. Any more thoughts or questions or suggestions or anything? No? Okay. Um, what does the committee wish to do, or the board? Sorry, I'll the committee before. Uh, I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Do you want to move forward to the decision hearing this evening? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve a special permit for Anthony and Sarah Mel Chucci. Um, case number 20019-06. Per the plan that her, his engineer has, as far as the offsets and setbacks, uh, you have another copy of that you can give to us. Yes, I think okay. we've got this one here. Yeah, well, it's a small one, so I'm asking. Mm -hmm. uh, if anyone else wants to add anything to that, are there any conditions no. anybody can think of? No. I won't I find it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. How Findings. <coughs> well, we can write those in later, I guess. It's not going to be detrimental. Him? The planning board had no objection. That's Thank right. You. Yeah, I'm that looking at. I'm looking at. The, that's correct. Thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, planning board's uh, sheet here, and they don't have any any uh, objections to the variance or the special permit. Okay. So all those. Uh, we had a motion. I made a motion. We had a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Unanimous. Great. Good. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. I look forward to seeing my new phone. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Thursday. <laughs> so, Margaret, how's that meeting going? Okay. Be busy. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You know, nobody, yes. every, everybody watches me too close. Just, just good problems, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. That's that's all. Take, Take care. care. Take care. Okay, well, we kept that right on time, didn't we? Absolutely. Oh, because you were the, you're at the helm. I guess that's right it. Now. Yeah, well, the the other guy we never know about. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where is he? I'll be fine. Why did he leave the room? Because he doesn't like that's what you're supposed to do. Why you put not really, you know, 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 you you don't influence the board. Who would have told you that? Check the rule, bro. That's why I never took the permanent job. We can do that, we can do the other one. You made me do You have more fun doing this, I think. Yeah, I got that. I mean, that was so easy, I can't believe it. Plus, I got a place for money to try to <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Don't forget the name of the room she's going to have in there. The <laughs> yeah. room. All right, the kitchen's <coughs> facing the room. Oh. The next agenda item is um, case number 2019-07. 
Leslie Stevens, 131 Franklin Street. The date of the application is June 18th, 2019. Can we get all the certified mailings for you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. And uh, this hearing was posted in the uh, town hall and also advertised in the Worcester Telegram and Gazette, and it read as follows. The Town of Douglas Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing at 7.30 on Wednesday, July 10th in the Douglas Municipal Center Community Meeting Room, 29 Depot Street, Douglas, Mass., to hear the following application. Leslie Stevens has applied for a special permit for, pursuant to MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9, the Douglas Zoning Bylaws, Section 9.3 and Section 3.4.5, non-conforming, single and two-family residential structures to request a 22-foot front yard setback and a 23-foot side yard setback for construction of a single-family home, 48 feet by 27 feet, structure located in RA Residential Agricultural Zone District, the property located at 131 Franklin Street, Assessor's Map 195, Parcel 22. Copy of the application may be viewed in the community development department during regular business hours. Any person wishing, interested or wishing to be heard on the proposed application should appear at the time and place designated. We did have a correspondence from the planning board. And it said they had no objection to the special permit request. Yeah, introduce yourself for the record. Uh, Les Stevens, uh, 31 Brookside Drive, Douglas, Mass. Uh, representing uh, the applicant for uh, 131 uh, Franklin Street. Um, so there's a pre-existing uh, structure on the house, uh, on the property, um, which sits uh, currently, I believe, about 21 feet off the road. Um, what we're proposing is a, a setback of uh, 22 feet, so giving giving a foot, um, and also requesting a side setback uh, variance or regarding the special permit of uh, 24 feet or 23 feet of the overhang of the structure. Um, because of the the dimensions of the lot, um, and, and I get a little zoom in here if you guys this would help because I know the uh, diagrams can be a little tri tricky for members. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, one extra, sorry, man. Um, so because of the wetlands, uh, the, the way the, the, the lot's laid out, it is conforming lot with, with, with regard regarding frontage as well as acreage. Um, but because of the wetland boundaries um, and, and working with the different boards uh, from the Board of Health, um, who, who recently approved the septic system, uh, conservation who's did an initial uh, discussion about the about the site um, we're really just trying to make it a b better situation situation overall um, so one of the things we're doing is, is getting more out of the wetlands so that's kind of forced us to where we are we're giving a foot off the off the front uh, setback um, we're currently grandfathered at about 21 feet and we're, we're going to try to go back to about 22 and a half feet back uh, that's what we're proposing is 22 uh, 8. Uh, we turned the house, um, the, car, the new proposal house is, is turned uh, versus what's in there now, which is a uh, going lengthways in there. Um, there's a number of properties that we, we, we've gone through and, and that are existing. Um, I'll pass this up to. I'm, I'm looking at trying to see uh, what the proposed house is. Yep. Is that in red or in? Uh, no, that's the current is in red. In, yeah. in green, the light okay, green. Okay, it's very fine. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a 27 by 48 okay. um, house. Um, regarding just the front setbacks, there's there's uh, how do we fit with the neighborhood? So this is a breakdown of a list of uh, properties that are in the area, so we, we would be more conforming to those. Um, Again, I, I, you know, what I mean, I did the best of ability to kind of see if we could be farther back, but be just because a lot and the restriction related to the water, uh, the water's edge, the, the wetlands, you know, that was about it that we could do. So, um, it's it's better than what it, what it is today. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, and, and I, and you know, that's as best as it can be, um, is what we're proposing. So, do you um, have any other plans for the house itself outside of this? That's just, a, yeah, uh, when it gets submitted to the uh, building department, it, it, it's a simple raised ranch, uh, one floor. Currently, what's there <coughs> is a two story yeah. um, house. Um, the current house is a dirt floor, stone wall foundation. foundation. Yeah. I've been here. Yeah. Been in here, so. Okay, have you? So it's. Yeah, I mean, this is probably two years ago. Yeah, I so it's. It was for sale. Yeah. So um, the owner is, is, is looking just for, you know, to, to put it in a house. Um, and, and to improve the neighborhood. Um, I've talked to a number of butters. Um, the, the property's probably for the past 10 years has been a little bit of an eyesore. Um, with the upkeep mm -hmm. as well as, huh? A little? A little bit. Uh, with the upkeep as well as uh, vehicle traffic and stuff like yeah. that. So um, we're just, at the end of the day, looking to make it an improvement um, to the neighborhood and uh, make things better than what they are today. Do you have any questions for the applicant? Uh, I, I don't. I know the property, so it's going to be a great improvement to what, what it is now. I don't know if you've been out there or not. I mm -hmm. think it means I don't rip the pot. Yeah. You know, so. And it's like, so, been like that for years. Yeah. Uh, we did, have we a, did, did have an early. Uh, I'm trying to think of that. Alexander. 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 So. Yeah. Yeah. Trust. yeah. Um, you know, <coughs> regarding the building and the demo of the building, did, did talk to Chief Vincent um, earlier in the summer about um, using the, the building because it is going to be demoed as, as a training. Um, yeah. uh, one, of the, one of the concerns that him and I were expressing was, was over the birdhouse because um, that type of environment, fire and stuff like that can you yeah. know, be a very serious issue. So yeah. we talked about using this as a training because it's ideal. So if we're going to remove the house. Um, let's let's benefit from some sort of the training and helping the community. So way. what what do you, uh, is the, what's the square foot footage difference between new, old, old and new? Um, so w with just the the the, the, f the current footprint, um, uh, let me see what the current because there is a second story. Mm -hmm. um, the current uh, it's a thousand fifty on finished square footage on a, on the first floor, and then there's a second story uh, bedroom area. Um, probably works out to be about three hundred feet or so. so okay, so <coughs> the footprint is ten fifty for for the for the old one, and the footprint for the new one will be. Um, no, so ten. You're talking square footage. Square footage. Well, I said I said square footage. <coughs> Oh, okay. All right. So, so the the living area is is about thirteen fifty in the current. Yeah. And we're going to um, this is about thirteen forty four. So I think it's I think it's twelve fifty. Twelve fifty is the current, and we're going to twelve forty four. Um, the f the dimensions that you're asking is thirty eight, and then there's uh, it's by twenty <coughs> or by by thirty two equals. It's, uh, it's thirty eight by oh, I want the math. So he said the first floor was 1,050. That's the old house, he said. Yeah. That's the old house, yeah. 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 So. I, I, I'm waiting for his calculator to, uh, uh, yeah. or his fingers to Sorry. attach to the calculator. This is 1344, right? Yeah, yeah, it's about 1250. Oh, there we go. In the Thank you. So yeah. this isn't what you're going to build? Yeah, that's what we're going to build. Yeah. Smaller version of this, then? It, it, it's, um... She asked about the, the square footage and stuff like that because yeah. it's two stories. This is only one story. Okay. No, I so, that. Yeah. So it's well. The, the plan is identified as being 1344, is what he's saying. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Living area. Living area. Yeah. Yep. So that's that would, include, would not include. What's the building? measurement of this house? Uh, the measurement. 27 by 48. And, no. what you, and what are you putting in? Uh, I'm sorry. That's a new one, it's 27 by 48. Yeah. Um, the new one, hold on. It's. Uh, 38 and then there's a bump out of 12 so um, it's a 30 38 by um, it's a 38 and then there's a bump out of it's 20 and, and another additional 12 because there's a bump out room so they're almost the same very much are the same um, if you take the square footage also you know with the second floor because that's why we we increase the, the footprint slightly just by 100 square feet so the same living you know i mean with, with today's construction 
um, versus what's there today. It's two by four, you know, with uh, 24 on center type of. <laughs> yeah, but it's still the same. Yep. Right? Okay, that's yep. fine. Same problem. That's all. Yep. No big impact in the no, area. No, no. Um, worked with the. So tight. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, a, it, now, it's right? a tough lot. Yeah, it tough. Um, there's there's dog there's a dog kennel uh, pad out back as well. Um, we're working with conservation to remove that mm -hmm. as well as the pad. That would improve the wetlands area. Um, talk to the building uh, uh, inspector, um, and this is what uh, we went back and forth on with the best proposal here to improve the area. Right. Why wouldn't you rotate that house 90 degrees to improve the? Uh, Encroachment on the front setback. Um, I, I think it was just mainly because of the, the lot layout. Um, I'm it, looking at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so I, why, why can't you just put the house right in? Yeah, that, that's that's the way the new one is. So the new one's right here, to right here. So she's going this way. She's turned. She's exactly what she's in the picture of. So I'm not going. That's not what, that's not what I'm looking at here. Or is that's that, existing. It says no. It that's says proposed house. Pr no, the, the, dark, the dark line is the is the existing, okay. and inside of that, these corners here, is the uh, proposed. Okay. But I'm, I'm losing. Yep. There's a back. Uh, there's a back deck. There's a back uh, overhang room. There's another. There's two bump outs on both sides, and then there's a second story. So. Yeah, I, th I thought you were turning about slightly turning it more. Well, I was looking at it and I was thinking you had a shotgun style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Because usually the right, uh, when front facing usually the proposed is the, the dock line and the existing is the light line. Yeah, so it's yeah, up. Okay. That's the, I didn't read the text. I assumed. Yep. So the that. red is the existing. Yeah. Yeah. Was the, the red, red is ex right? existing, right. and the green is the yeah. proposed uh, footprint. Um, so we're, we're losing the back. If you look at the back piece where it says forty eight. You know, on, on that uh, plan there, we're losing that whole piece there. Um, that's being basically coming in and going in on the side. That way, there we actually get um, <coughs> we get out of the wetlands more. We're right now 41 feet into the wetlands, so we're we're actually going to improve that to be about 47 with a new structure. So th this is what we're trying to do is improve in multiple areas. Yeah, what's conservation think? Did you go before them? Um, we've had, I've had initial conversations with them regarding the improvement of the lot. Um, we talked about removing the uh, the dog kennels as well as the as uh, the uh, tar concrete foundation that the dog kennels sit on. So that will all be removed out part of the construction, um, and we'll uh, turn that back into the uh, lawn area and, and create that yeah. appropriately. Yeah. Um, making the improvement as best as possible, just you know, um, locating the house and making that work. Um, What's it supposed to be? Fifty feet? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be fifty. You know, the current the current is is twenty one, um, and you know the the I mean uh, the best that, that we could do would be the twenty two eight. You know what I mean? Um, so you're just replacing with state. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically giving a foot from from existing. Um, you know what I mean? I'm going from twenty one to twenty two off the road, and then um, needing two feet on the side just to make the the new footprint work. What do you think, John? You've been there, right? I've been there, and I've done that. that the uh, system that uh, you got approved for. The, yep. It's been. It's, that's a race system. Um, I, I I have to go through with what the engineer submitted, but it, it was approved by the Board of Health. Um, yeah. It, it 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 was the only location that would work and where, where it is. Where's it going to be? I guess I didn't look. Oh, to the left of the house. To the oh, yeah. left of the house. Right. Yeah, I mean it. Yeah. That kind of you know worked out. Oh, good. Looks good. Anybody else have any questions? I do. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Michael Costanza. I live at 125 Franklin Street, direct the bottom. Now, um, I, I really have no problems with it. Okay. But I'm just wondering why why does, why 23 feet? It, it, why why, you know, you just why, why couldn't the house be moved over? Okay. He's asking me, but I will. Go ahead, you can answer. Sorry, um, <laughs> it's it, it's 23 feet on the side setback there. Um, we, we can't move it anymore because the separation between the septic system and where the house was being proposed, there has to be a separation of 20 feet from the septic system to the house. So I personally don't know where the septic system going. So it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's what was approved by the Board of Health. It's, <coughs> going, it's going actually. Why don't you come up here and yep. take a look? Take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and Dom. Um, to the far left of the corner of the, yep. of the property. So the problems that you're dealing with are the wetlands. Yeah. Really yeah. That's yeah. Um, you know, it's really, it's really constraining close. you. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, so so my problem is, right, it's not really a problem, but, you know, the last people who lived in that house, you know, I couldn't go anywhere near that line without him yelling at me or putting <laughs> out because I wanted to cut a tree and it was on his property, you know, yep. even though it's my property. Yep. So, you know, I understand build a house, but when the next person gets it, am I going to have to fight with them because they think they have 75 feet, you know what I mean? Oh. No, uh -oh. Yeah, if I can answer that. There's no guarantees yeah. who, yeah. who's going to be your neighbor. Find, I was just going to say. You yeah. never know who, who your neighbor is. You're right. But, right. but, but, but there will, like in any situation when they purchase a property, they'll be giving the plot plan yeah. that's certified. Yeah. So they'll know that they're 20 well, something. Initially, you should too. have some stake on it. Yeah, there. it's a yeah. real stake yeah, well, too. He just ripped them right out of the ground. So I mean, yeah. I had the, the guy come in and, you know, survey yeah. the property and put it right in, and he just ripped it out and threw it away. Sounds like Yeah, I'm trying to improve this. No, no, I understand. And, and yeah. anything you can do there yep. is going to, you know, yeah. be greatly appreciated. Nope. But I'm, I'm just asking. Uh, yeah, you know. no, I, I don't know who the new, uh, you know what I mean? Is the person you're rep representing the owner of the property going to be living there, or is, is this a spec house? Um, he's right now is, is talking with his daughter and stuff like that. His daughter is living in this area. Yep. Again, they're looking at schools. Like. Okay. Um, she's so. Okay. Not yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Okay, I'm good. Thank, thank you. Thank you very, thank thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Any other questions, comments from the board? No. If not, uh, we're ready to close the public hearing. So moved. We have a motion by Mr. Bambara to close the public hearing. Seconded by Mr. Holland. All in favor? Aye. 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 Public hearing is closed. Would the board like to move forward with the decision tonight? Sure. Okay. Right. Right. Thank, Thank you. You're doing so well. Thank you. Um, I move that we approve the special permit for <coughs> Item number 2019-07, uh, Leslie Stevens on 131 Franklin Street. And her plans that uh, not only here, but with the building department submitted. Uh, Sorry, John, I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, just to clarify, is a special permit going to you or is it going to the landowner? Um, I, I, believe it, I believe it goes to, to, landowner. to the landowner. Okay. Um, in the past, I, I because yep. of the applicant, I sometimes get. So the the, the, okay, the it goes to the landowner, the legal owner. Mm -hmm. That's the proper way. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry, did you mean to That's no. Yeah, that's it, a, that was a good should point. Should this be conditioned on approval from the conservation? Where where you? So should the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm on this one now. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't want to no. Well, on no. your toes. How do you pronounce the landowner's last name? Um. <laughs> it's a uh, Hervin. Um. Property. Yeah. Property. 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 Yeah. Yeah. One thirty-one. Book and page number on there. Call Michael H. Yeah. Michael Michael H. H. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Property. Yeah. Mr. Property. Mr. Property. Yeah. Property. Yeah. My goodness. All right. So. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, so we're just, is it going to be conditioned just on the size, or this, this often we've gotten a plan? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. right? I've got, uh, he said he had a plan, you're going to get to the, yeah. the building inspector. So, it, the plans that he would be getting. Which is being proposed here, which is the, yeah. the, the well, you, you could also um, describe it as a 27 by 48 yep. raised ranch. Right. Mm -hmm. So move, yep. there you go. Yep. Okay. That's what, no changes to that, yeah. That's not that judgmental of the community. With yeah. garage under, right? Right. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it, what it showed. Yeah, yeah. that's what it showed. Exactly. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Bombard to approve case number 2019-07. We have a second. I'll second. Second by Mr. Holland. Any <laughs> further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Special permit is granted. It will be decision will be drafted and 
signed and submitted to the town clerk as quickly as possible. Right. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Still in planning mode. Yeah. Served, hey, thank uh, you for coming. Served four years in Webster's. <laughs> well, no, Is that my I'm phone? just curious about now. Is that my phone? Yeah. Well, I need those two documents you handed out for the board. Phone. Sure, yeah, it's my phone. I need it oh. for the record. Oh, the two documents? Oh. oh. <laughs> you know. Uh, I think uh, I can just put a record. Sure. These two. I think this is what you want. Next agenda item. Yeah, did you give anything else? Uh, review the minutes of uh, May Dark. meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's probably about 30 more copies in there. Yeah, I was just gonna say yeah. Murray is good at that copy machine. She oh. sends lots of stuff. He's got it. Yeah. Which one we're gonna do first, May? May. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I already have two. Okay. Because I, I wasn't here today. Um, <clears throat> can we have a discussion about this on uh, one of the items on here afterwards? Certainly. <coughs> Gee, we made history tonight. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock, we're out of here. No, we're not. Not that. done yet. Not done. We got 12 months of meeting uh, minutes to do. Yeah. Oh, we can do it because we were. I wasn't here at the meeting. So thank you. Yeah. Just a correction on this. I had made a motion to make um, no, Sean Holland a lifetime <laughs> member of the board. Spent a week on the She missed that. She missed that. She missed that. We all sat there. Yeah. We need you. We need you. Well, I was advocating for that. Are you guys sure? It's celebration. Absolutely. You do the same thing. You do the same thing. Goddamn right. I'll try you. That's good. So, That's what yeah, you I'll do. make a motion That's to accept do. the minutes so, of uh, May 8th as written. Second. 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 Right, we have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick and seconded by Mrs. Holmes to approve the minutes of May 8th as written. Miles. All in favor? Aye. 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 I had a whole to save Sweet. that discussion until the end of the May. Yeah, sure. My son used to work the minutes of June 12th. I used to work I was not present. And he was hey guys, we got a meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. And John wasn't either. I wasn't. I'm sorry. I was, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, well, you were here for June second and yeah. June twelfth, so you got to meet. You got to meet. Yeah, yeah, I read them. They're okay. And <laughs> <laughs> Mike, oh, we should have asked. Did that really yeah, mean something? The sidewalks. How are they going? I haven't been up there. Am I right? Am I wrong? Everything done. I haven't used that on you in a while. That's right. Well, I moved that we accept the the June twelfth meeting minutes as. As written. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Hall to approve the June twelfth minutes as written. We have a second. Second. Okay. okay. Third. Second by Mr. Fitzpatrick. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think this is for you, John. Okay. Okay. Disruptive, okay. consistently disruptive behavior at these meetings. We need to read this again and again and again. Yeah. Yes, we, we did get it in our packet. A, um, code of conduct. Came from the, the Board of Selectmen. Yeah. A, a code of conduct for boards, commissions, and committees. If everybody could read that at the earliest convenience. It's 10 years old. So Is that a reference to anything that read happened recently? I'm curious. I don't believe so. I am be a reminder. I'd be shocked. Also. What's that? I'd be shocked if, very if this was because of something that happened. And then Mike, you want to discuss? Okay, uh, so the discussion uh, that I had was on the May 8th minutes. We haven't had any update on this. Um, I was under the impression that uh, number 2019 3 was going to reapply once they reconfigured their application. Yep, that's what they said. So, what do we do? Uh, ask the building inspector yep. as a, for an update on that? Yep, there's a. Um, that's the one on Wallace Road? Yes. Yeah. 
Yep. I see. Are you right? Are you going to only had that question? I'm glad you brought it up. Oh, no. I, I, I read your mind. Thank you. It was a short story. Why don't we ask the building commission yes. to uh, Please. Sure. come in and discuss it with us yeah. next month if there's not a. I, I, I've been meaning to ask each meeting yeah. and I keep forgetting, then I've yeah. seen it in the yeah, middle of the call. Maria, did, uh, yeah. you haven't heard anything about that? That's been going on for six or eight months. No. Yeah, there's no, I haven't. More than that. Yeah. They, must have, they must have resolved it, right? No, it's, a, it's about ten so months. They haven't resolved it with us yet. No, 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 but they resolved yeah. it themselves. Well, right. that part well, we're not sure already. Yeah. Yeah. The only way they could resolve it is to have a land transfer. Right. They have yeah. to be an awful large site. Right. They have to be an awful large yeah. land transfer. Yeah. <laughs> and then he still has to apply. Well, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. still got bought enough land. He could make it conform, but yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, he could have given the guy a lease. Would it be um, $1, 25 years, 50, 100 years? Yeah, I don't know. At least, yeah, what would you call it? Uh, it's going to turn into a copy. Maria Cronin's right. sure. his, uh, his representative? I, I think, oh, we, I think we should ask the building ask commission, the building commission just, first. just to, uh, he's a zoning enforcement agent, yeah. um, to yes. inquire as to what the status is. Yeah. There's clearly a, um, a zoning violation. It's well, then, not, it's doesn't not, it's not going away, but it seems like it got forgotten yeah. a little bit. So. And, I, mm -hmm. and if I recall right uh, from my previous commission, he was being fined. Correct. And I believe the court said as long as he was working right. towards resolving it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I believe they not reduced that. <coughs> and Henry's his lawyer, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lawyer. So. We're going to find that one. Right. You don't have yeah. any other business? Actually, he's got a new one. It's Make a motion to adjourn. Oh, no, no. Don't even <laughs> joke here, please. We have a motion by Mr. Fitzpatrick to adjourn. Second. Second by Mr. Bombara. All in favor? Aye. 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 Means adjourned at 758. Beautiful. How's the uh, pain level going on? Yeah.